Now back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. Hey, this is Larry Ray, and welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 as we roll into show number 753. And my voice is uh, the Epizuti. I, I don't wish the Epizuti on anybody, you know. <laughs> Terry Smith's over there, and he's never had the Epizuti. No. no, he hasn't. Frank Barton, no. you're here. You had the Epizuti? Yes. Yes, you have. Yeah, I've had it, but this is a, this is a bad case. Did so. you not get your uh, flu shot? Yes, but I think they missed my arm. They beat you. Yeah, you know, I, 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 yeah, I, I think they just went right through right me. To, right through yeah, yeah, because I'm not a big person. But hey, this is one of my favorite guests. Anytime we can get Jesse Duff on the show, uh, of course, it's better to have her in studio. But it's hard to get her in studio when she's in Texas. So, uh, <laughs> but we do have Jesse Duff. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning. How are y'all doing? Hey, we're doing great. We're doing great. Yeah, there, there you go. Now there's Jesse standing in front of a barn. What does that say on the back of that barn right there? <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. That says the Flint Flint ra- Ranch or something. Oh, yeah, that was in, uh, that was in Montana. That's Montana? Oh, oh Yeah, man. that's Montana. That was from, I believe, the first season of Friends of NRA. Really? Okay. Well, I yep. like that, like that belt you got on, too. So, but anyway. Thank so, you. Hey, <laughs> 2015, great year for you. Great year for Thank you. you. And I know... Uh, wrapping it up uh, as you did in your final you got down to the final end and uh, there you go high lady overall at the 2015 steel challenge world championships mm-hmm. out in california and, yep. and that kind of capped uh, what has been just amazing what you what you've done jesse so tell our listeners oh, about uh, about 2015 and then, then we'll talk a little bit about 2016 uh that being the taurus team captain and when you participate in things like this, uh, you're no longer, you're the target now, right, so to speak? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, there, there seems to be a target on my back, but yeah. that's okay. That means I've, I've done a good job. Um, I just had a very successful 2015. I uh, was just blessed to have as many championship points as I did. Um, you know, it gets to a point to where you realize, okay, you can't win everything and the odds just start getting a little bit higher you know when you get to matches wondering how it's going to play out but I just I I had a very blessed year um I worked hard put in the time that I needed and I felt you know I got the results that I wanted and I know that uh when you do in the steel challenge and I know this but uh, when you say eight uh simulating stages uh Mm -hmm. tell our listeners what that involves because they may not be familiar with this Okay, the Steel Challenge is, uh, it's also known as the World Speed Shooting Championships, and it's, it's all total time match. Yes. So you have eight stages that you shoot, and each stage consists of five steel plates. Now, they could be a 10-inch plate, a, round, uh, a 10-inch or a 12-inch round plate, yeah. or it could be an 18 by 24 rectangle. Those are the different target configurations, and they could be placed anywhere from 5 to 40 yards. Ooh. And each stage is different, and it's going to test. Uh, one might test your speed. One might test uh, your distance shooting. One might test, you know, your target acquisition and have wide spreads between the targets. Yeah. Um, so each stage is going to have a different challenge to it, and you shoot each stage five times, and you keep your four best runs. Mm. If you have a miss, uh, it's a three-second penalty to your time for that string. And then each stage has a designated stop plate. So you can shoot it however you want in any order as long as you shoot the stop plate last. And then if you incur a miss before you engage the stop plate, it's three seconds. So you shoot all eight stages. And then they're going to take your four best runs from each stage, your time, total that together, and that's your score. So it is literally just run what you brought, you step up to the line, give it what you got, and that's it. Man, Um, yeah. It's yeah. one of my favorite I know, uh, you, sports to shoot just because it's 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 shooter friendly, it's reactive, you know right away what your score is gonna be. Yeah. It's easy for new shooters to get involved in. Um there's not all the intricate scoring like in USPSA. You can go out with a twenty two or if you're a novice, you don't have to worry about a holster, you can shoot from the low ready. So it's real easy <laughs> for new shooters to, to start in. Yeah, and I know that. I, I know the Earp brothers wish they would have had you at the OK Corral 
you know, because... <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah. things might have turned out different. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It is, it's, and again, we're talking to uh, Jesse Duff, and uh, world and national champion pistol shooter in five different shooting disciplines. And Jesse, I know that uh, one of these things is uh, you're getting ready to go into 2016. So how many mm-hmm. how many uh, bullets did you shoot in 2015? Oh my goodness! Um, I want to say I was close to. 40,000, 40 to 50,000. 30 to 50,000. Okay, did y'all get that? Uh, yeah, 40, 40 to 50,000. Okay, yeah. 40 to 50,000. And this is all about speed, isn't it? I mean, uh, you're trying to uh, do things fast. And I, 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 for, for the majority of my matches, yes. Yes. Like when we start talking about the Yankee Cup, that's all accuracy. That's all accuracy, so I'll, yeah. But, I'll lay on the range prone and just shoot groups as tight as I can get them all day long. Wow. But everything else. There's a matter of speed to it, yeah. And I, I know that uh, you got a lot of fans in the Memphis area here because of uh, what you've done and uh, your accomplishments, but at the same time, uh, I think that uh, you love representing your sport, don't you? I do. I really, really do. Um, and it's funny that you mentioned that. I just did a, a commercial piece for Taurus, and that's what we were talking about, uh-huh. was um, sharing the sport and how I grew up with firearms, I grew up on the range. Uh, yeah. We were a shooting family. So I had an outlet to this world. But for people that don't have that, um, I want to be that person that my dad was to me. I want to share this with them and, and see their faces light up when they go to the range the first time or shoot their first competition. I want to be able to share that with as many people as possible. Well, so that's just something something that I, I'm really passionate about. So is that <laughs> going to be a Taurus commercial we might see someplace? Uh, it is, yes. It's. I think they're going to debut it at SHOT Show. Okay. And then it should be available online, and I'll make sure I send you a link to it. Yeah, make it, sure you send it. Yeah, so we can link it up on uh, mm-hmm. on my website and do that. And again, I we're, sure will. Again, we're talking to Jesse Duff. and I, So what, what about 2016? You said before we came on the air you're working on your match schedule. Is it, it, it is every year it getting more difficult for you to put this schedule together? Um, not really. Uh, each year, you know, I have specific major championships that I go to. So those are, those are easy. I can fill those in once the dates are released. Uh-huh. Um, I've kind of started though trying to throw in some smaller matches that I don't shoot every year just to change it up. Yeah. Um, if, you know, if you do the same thing every year, it just kind of gets stagnant. So mm. I'm trying to pick some matches that I haven't shot before, some area championships or regionals and to just see new places. Um, so those are the ones that I'm trying to pick now and find different matches to go to just to, to change it up a little bit. And there's another side to this, uh, Jesse, and I know it's the physical side, the mental side that you have to deal mm-hmm. with uh, to get yourself ready. Uh, what, is, what does Jesse Duff do in between seasons to, to get sharper for your game? I don't know how you get sharper, but uh, <laughs> you're already a sharp person as it is. But uh, what, what's, uh, what's your routine? Uh, well, in between seasons, uh, in my downtime, I actually don't shoot at all. <laughs> really? Okay, so you get away from have, it. Yeah, I have to have some downtime from it just to clear my mind, to, to make me hungry again. Because during the season, I'm on the range every day. Yes. And as much as I love it, it does wear on you, and it kind of, you'll lose the edge eventually. So I just completely step away from them. Um and have some relaxation, spend time with family, and, you know, just hunt some. Yes. Uh, we've gotten into snowboarding lately. So oh, you have. Snowboarding. Things, okay. Yeah. No, so just doing things during the year that I, or in the off-season that I don't get the chance to do during the year. Um, and then I'll change my workout regimen slightly just because during the season I'm pushing more weights for the muscle just to, to have the power that I need. Yeah. And I'll change that in the off season so I don't get burnout. Um, I'll just focus on more cardio, not as much weight. But when it's time to start getting ready for the season, say in February, that's when I'll go back to the workout routines that I use throughout the season. Wow. Well, I know you're ready. We're ready. Uh, always uh, appreciate you taking time for your busy schedule to be on Outdoors with Larry Ray, one of our favorite people, Jesse Duff. Uh, Happy New Year. A great 2016. Happy New Year to you. Okay, girl. You stay in touch, okay? We're pulling for Thank you. I will. Thanks for having me on the All show. All right. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, Jesse Duff. Wow. Uh, 
She's a re- just wow. Yeah, remarkable. Uh, of course, her husband is Matt Duff, who pitched for the Cardinals, and uh, they have their friend, uh, friends of the NRA or something like. They have a TV show, and they do all these different things. So uh, I wanted to get her in there before my voice goes. Let me tell you about next week's show. We may have to get Frank back to do it. I don't know. No, we'll have Ron Wong in, so we don't have to worry about anybody talking. So Ron will be in next week with Bill Cooksey, uh, editor of the Mid-South and Fishing News. We're going to talk to Joe Belog. He's going to talk about Plano's new M-Series HydroFlow Tackle Bag. This is a beast of a bag capable of storing up to 25 large lures. I mean, I'm talking about large lures. Some of them are bigger than me. So we got a bag after that. And then we're going to talk to Elmer Alfarara. And if that's not close, Elmer won't care. But wins. You folks at golf know that Wins has the uh, the grips on the golf clubs. Now they're going into the grips on fishing poles, on rods in, uh, that, that that's come along. And he is the uh, business development manager and responsible for the grip season. So we're going to talk to him. And then the Delta Waterfowl Foundation has a new development a- a- director, Jeffrey Howell. Guess where he's from? He's from Memphis. And he's going to be in the studio next week uh, to talk a, a little bit about that. A lot of things going on. So, uh, and I know you got to get over. Uh, you going to hunt this morning? Or you? Yes, I'm going to hunt okay, this morning. Okay, he's going to hunt this morning. But, I don't know uh, why we couldn't arrange it where I could have done my day. We, we did that we last at, week. When we were out no, in the blind. We, so we, I, we love having you in the studio. That's fine. Yeah, yes, okay. Yes, I'm going hunting first. He's going hunting first. And then, uh, then uh, but, but Barton then Power I'm going, Sports. Then I'm going to the Grizzlies game tonight. Well, well, I hope they do better than. Well, yeah, that's right. But we got this will be an exciting game. Yeah, it will be. Won't we it? got the Knicks in town. Yes, there's a little added incentive. Well, you think the incentive? Little fireworks is, in that game. Yeah, we'll see. And, uh, and then that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, that's all you need to say. But uh, Frank, you opened the, this morning about the, pretty close to when we close the air right here. Uh, uh, in about part, thirty minutes, they'll be opening 30, up. They're probably moving stuff. Yeah, out they're right moving now. everything out. And then Frank will be <laughs> at the. Uh, Mid-South Sports and Boat Show coming up uh, the third weekend in uh, February, and I'll be out there for that. And then, Kerry, God bless you, brother. Thank you, man. I know. Uh, I appreciate you. Stay in there. Uh, uh, if, if I, I can get you plenty of speaking engagements if you need them. Yes, sir. I've got a couple that Please. Uh, I would like for you to, to tell that story. You know what's cool? We but, were sitting there talking on the show. Kerry hands me a block of wood yeah. and his carving knife. And he says, here. And he start, you know, he tells me, show me what to do. So I'm sitting here carving during the radio show. Carrie's going to finish a project somewhere with that block of wood. And I'm going to be able to say, I helped with that. You helped with that. That's what I said. You were just whittling away over there. Yeah. The show was whittling the away. And was was yeah, and, of course, the bluebird in front of me is just uh, amazing. I mean, what he can do with the. Uh, uh, so go to the birdcarver.com, right? Yes, sir. Greg, thank you, buddy, for being with us. This is Larry Ray reminding you to do each and every week that it doesn't cost an extra cent to be a good sport. And God bless the USA. You can find-